Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Transport Fever 2. It's the Fingers Valley map. And well, now we're looking for lumber production for this operation here. Now, it turns out in the uh, original area, development area here, there's a lumber mill, a sawmill, which looks like uh, uh, can be connected up and this will give some uh, this will give some uh, uh, possibility of uh, rejiggering some of this stuff here now uh, I think I'm going to need a, a cross map line here for additional uh, freight hub connections but uh, I'm going to start out, uh, I figured what I'll do is I'll put a freight hub. Now, where would we go from here? Down into here. So, put the hub over here, I think. Yeah, put the hub there. So, that'd be the Tempe hub. Yeah, put it over here by Tempe. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, in that case... Uh, I think uh, the flattening gun seems like a thing to grab. Uh, you know, this would work better if you don't use the orbital bombardment view. Yeah. So you can actually see what you're doing. Uh, why would I want to see what I'm doing? I don't know. Maybe so you can uh, do what you intend to do instead of some random flattening. Uh, okay, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Um, do you need to flatten that much? Probably not. Are you pointed in the right direction? Yeah, close enough. Okay, uh, so I guess that's going to require a uh, one of these. Oh, well, what do you know? It's still set up. So if we put it right here, yeah, eh, closer this way. Bam. And this will be the Tempe Freight Hub. Yeah, yeah, Tempe Freight Hub. Okay, no, you want to uh, remove the building. Yeah, remove the building. There we go, building removed. Yeah, uh, you also want to uh, extend it. See, I, the way I, I foresee these uh, inter-hub connections going is uh, having uh, massive 500 meter plus long trains pulled by uh, one or two really strong locos, uh, which uh, just tool around, moving bulk freight around uh, platforms. Yeah. And uh, just generally... Uh, uh, getting stuff from uh, pillar to post and then some other things uh, smaller operations mostly trucks and whatever will get things from pillar and post to their uh, destinations and sources right uh, that uh, that does generally uh, seem to be the plan now uh, from here we're going to need to go that way we're going to need to go through this gap. Okay. Uh, now it's time for tracks, right? Uh, so we'll do this thing again where we come out flat like that. Yep. Now that seems like a good spot to take off for the uh, tracks to connect. Okay. Do this. Now we can do this. Now that's about the right distance, actually. Uh, okay, we do this. Uh, I think that's a little bit too far. Yeah, okay. Uh, you come up here. Yeah. Now we need to come. There was an industry here. Uh, judging by the clearing there. 
Uh, we need to come through this way. Yeah, we need to come through about that way. This way? Yeah. Need to go over this, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, right? Uh, that will... Oh, that'll work. Um, what do I want? Do I want Jolly Green? I don't think I want Jolly Green there. Uh, let's... Uh, uh, look at it. Okay, so it's about this angle. Yeah, and that is. Yeah, that's roughly right. Okay, so uh, I don't want Jolly Green. What do I want? Well, that only does 90. Um, no, I don't want that. That one? Eh. What about this guy? No. That guy? No. Jolly Green it is. Okay, Jolly Green. Uh, well, I guess we want to come over the road there too. Yeah, so we'll have a bit of a viaduct there. Uh, okay, now uh, we can come over here. Uh, yeah, we'll come in on that side. Yeah, that, oh, that, that should, that should be fine. Okay. And if we embank that, yeah. Uh, how is that? That looks fine. Okay. Well, that's going to do then. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay, and then. Really? What? Okay. And good. I don't know why it does that. It fails to snap sometimes. Uh, but it does. And it's uh, vaguely annoying. Right. Okay. So we're here. And up we come. Yep. Okay, that's four tracks up to here. That embankment, you know, that isn't so terrible. Uh, yeah, it really isn't. Now, do I want to just keep that as a viaduct across there? I could. Yeah, I'll just keep it that way. Uh, okay, so that can come across to there. Yep. Right, and that one comes across to there. Okay, so we've got a little bit of uh, height going here, and okay, now we need to come up, swing through there, um, but do we, hmm, what does this look like if I keep it level with an embankment? Uh, we just keep... Oh! Oh! That might be... Oh, that seems appropriate, actually. Yeah, and we need to swing it a little bit like this. I think... Yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay. So we have a rail line on an embankment. That is terribly exciting. Yeah, it really is. I just don't didn't want to run this jolly green business all the way. And I, and I didn't want to use the stone uh, viaduct uh, on account of... I don't want to artificially limit the trains to 90k, right? Uh, okay, so we're here. Now, we need to... Right. 
actually, no, we didn't need to swing that direction. No, I think I want to. Um, yeah, I think I do want to. No. No, this is... F no, I didn't need to swing that way. Um, if I take that out... Do I want to come around that way? Yeah, I think actually maybe I do. Uh, okay. Well, if you're going to do that, first of all, you need to swing that around that way. Uh, do that. Do this. Yeah. And then we need to come around like this. Yeah, that... That actually isn't terrible. So if we come across like this. Yeah. Do that. Okay. Now we can do this. Actually, yeah. I like that path. Okay. Um, I, I, I actually like that better than, I, than the uh, other one that was a possibility. And there's fewer road crossings, right? So that's... Uh, that's something of a positive as well. Uh, of course, now I need to build the rest of the uh, rail lines. Uh, really? Okay. Uh, do this. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, the whole idea here is now this whole uh, mainline setup here. Uh, and I'm using the term mainline as in it's a mainline track, not uh, in the kernel failure mainline notion. Uh, uh, and, and that's, um, uh, you know, this whole mainline track business here is, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this whole mainline track business here is uh, now coming into the uh, existing uh, uh, operation, which, uh, like the original operation, and it's now going to uh, uh, be in a position to be uh, reconstructed with uh, uh, more modern uh, rail operations, right? Uh, which is, um, which was the ultimate goal, I just have never gotten to gotten around to it, right? Um, yeah. Uh, the the trick is to keep everything uh, running uh, that's already supplying uh, towns and whatever uh, while switching it all over to uh, a more modern uh, operations. That's the idea, right? Um, and that's going to take a little bit more, uh, a little bit more fiddling than, than you might expect, or maybe you, maybe you expect quite a lot of fiddling. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm actually pondering taking a brief break from Fingers Valley and picking up the Colonel's, uh, most recent mainline, uh, finished mainline map and, uh, tackling a couple of bits that, uh, aren't uh, particularly uh, great in his uh, finished product. Uh, it, uh, like that roundabout he built, um, that monstrosity. Uh, he built and then he rebuilt it. Um, yeah. What? Okay. Um, you know, like maybe rebuild a few bits that are a little bit janky or something like that. Uh, see, uh, see if there's a, a nice uh, solution to his uh, problem with uh, trains getting stuck everywhere or whatever. Without doing a huge, complete re rebuild of his whole network. Because I think his network is reasonably sound reasonably uh i don't think it's brilliant but i think it's reasonably sound uh okay signals we need a couple of signals on here definitely need one here and one here yeah i'm gonna need a few more along here and i think 
uh, a couple more in the other segment as well. Uh huh. Then we can put another batch of signals here. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. And then we'll put another batch here. And here. Yeah. And I suppose we could stick one here. Yeah. Uh, you might think an up, up, down, down line would make more sense here. But I'm doing what I'm doing to, um, to avoid uh, uh, some of the cross, uh, uh, crossings uh, where trains block each other. Uh, class 9000. Right. Okay. Put that there. And probably in the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's the best part. Uh, we need to take, um, we need to take logs, uh, went down to the, uh, sawmill logs go on flat cars. Uh, and then we need to bring, um, uh, lumber up to here and lumber goes on flat cars. So what we can do is grab this operation, the flat car operation, we can manage the line and we can do this. We can go here and here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now it's not going to do anything uh, until I connect it up to here, right? So it's time to do that. Now I'm not going to do that with a rail link. It's too short. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to actually take this out. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to put a, uh, put a road station there. Yeah. A truck station. Yep. Definitely a truck station. Uh, which is going to uh, wang it around like that. Uh, and we can do this. Yep. And then we're going to need over here, configure, going to need a building, right? Uh, we'll stick this guy in right about here. Yep. Now I need one of these and I'll put a big one of these in yeah just like so okay and then we can configure that uh, with one of those cargo yeah uh, one two three four five six yep Yeah, we need a couple more of these. Yeah. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the station, uh, right? So this is going to be the Tempe Freight Hub. Tempe Freight Hub. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, now this is Cleveland Sawmill. Saw mill. Yeah. Okay. Now, all I need to do, all, uh, is uh, grab. Oh, we've got the uh, the modern uh, uh, roads now. Uh, okay. Well, uh, we're going to come out of here and into here. Yep. Bam. Okay, well, you've done that. Uh, are you going to connect that to anything else? Probably a road, uh, just because. It just seems like the thing to do. Uh, okay, so you've connected it to a road. Right. Yep, I have connected it to a road. 
Good. Um, you need a uh, depot. I do. Well, we can get one of those easily enough. Stick it here. Well, if you insist, you can stick it there. Um... Just like that, huh? Yep. Yep, I can do it just like that. Okay. Now, you need trucks. Uh, this guy, 40 and 6. This, Yeah, we're going with the bends, right? No. Thir 40 and 7, yeah. Uh, I'm going to put too many trucks on there. Yeah. New line goes from here to here. Yeah. So this is CLVL saw M to Tempe freight hub. Yeah. Okay. So that can do that. Now, if we go in here, manage vehicles, I think we're going to need at least I'm going to put a third, uh, fourth train on here. And here, where are you going? Pueblo Freight Hub. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll jump on board here and uh, give it a little bit of a ride. Uh, take a look at that new bit of track and see how it rides. And uh, see if we end up picking up any... Um, logs on the or any uh, lumber on the way back as uh, it I think it was produced it was able to produce more than it was uh, shipping okay in through here drop off the steel uh, yep big stack of steel now on we go Actually, that looks kind of nice having the uh, depot facing, you know, on the building set up like that. Uh, it looks kind of nice. Maybe I should come in and flatten out that uh, hump there. Maybe. Um, right. Well, uh, actually, this, this looks fine. And we come up and we just go flat. There's the road crossing. Yeah. And what have we got here? We're going by the uh, the industry. And here's the viaduct. Yeah, it all works nicely. And in we come where we pick up Nothing, maybe. We pick up one lumber. We picked up one lumber. <laughs> that's uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, that is hilarious. Um, yeah. So we'll drop off the lumber. Uh, we should at Pueblo. Uh, yeah. I kind of, I'm kind of waiting for uh, decent electric trains before I start messing with uh, existing uh, passenger services. Uh, yeah, uh, keeping these uh, this freight main line separated from the passenger operations uh, will mean uh, less complications for uh, for the uh, grand excitement of electrification, right? Oh look, it's another train. And is that another train? No. It's a station. Okay, so we'll drop off our one lumber. Yep. And then on up to Green Bay. Yep.
yeah, this all uh, this all works out uh, reasonably well. Now, if we come up here to Green Bay, um, do we have we we have no line there? Okay, so we've got to uh, buy. Uh, it's a Benz, yeah. Um, Uh, 15 of them yeah got to overload the road somehow so from here to here yeah okay and that is Green Bay Forest 3 to Green Bay Freight Hub yeah okay Green Bay Freight Hub Terminals, uh, Forest 3, uh, we can go to Terminal 5. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Uh-huh. And this one, you are, yeah. Uh, we'll double the uh, trucks on that line, uh, okay. Okay, I think I think this specific bit here probably needs a uh, better road. Yeah, a better road. Yeah, a better road. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, I want to go in here, and I want to go into tools tram track bus lane um, that put a traffic light um, traffic layer no traffic light yeah and we want to go over here no traffic light and we want to go over here and player own this that particular stretch of road so that nothing upgrades it right yeah okay uh, that bit of road there definitely uh, warrants the uh, the four lanes over the bridge okay now Uh, are we getting any uh, we are shipping lumber okay okay we're getting our, our logs we're getting logs coming up for the uh, flat car excellent good good that's uh, that's functional. Good. So now that's a four station main line. Yeah. Which will come in down here and there will be another one over here. Probably combine the main, the, uh, the freight and passenger stations of Atlanta. Um, and then have, uh, have a spur out to, uh, the, the W place. Maybe. Well, anyway, uh, I think that's going to be enough for this uh, particular adventure. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to put the cut here. And uh, next time around, I might come back with, with uh, a slight detour. Uh, I, I'm still uh, pondering that. Uh, if not next time, maybe the time after. You know, maybe in a couple weeks. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um I'll uh, I'll ponder that right. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll just mention if for some reason you want to support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description. You can use that. Uh, otherwise, well, you know, don't. I like, seriously, uh, it's entirely up to you. It's your money, right? And yeah, that's it. See you back next time.